Greetings everybody and welcome to G4G on YouTube. I'm Napalm Dawn and today we're going to talk about an interesting video or an interesting scenario that actually relates to something all the way back to Marvel Avengers Alliance running off Facebook. So as you may or may not know, there is a game out there in the world called New World. No pun intended. New World is was at least doing quite well for itself because of the fact that Blizzard with World of Warcraft is in a little bit of a content drought. We are deep into patch new uh, 9.1 with 9.1.5 showing up relatively soon. Uh, next week, as a matter of fact. And, but it's not going to introduce new content. It's semi going to introduce something new with Legion time walking and the return of the Mage Tower and some new skins that even if you've earned all the skins before, there's new stuff. But there's no new raids and dungeons and stuff like that. We're going to have to wait for 9.2, whatever shows up. And of course, Blizzard is getting dragged through the Tiger Pits um, because of all the lawsuits and everything. But that's a video unto itself some other time. So, in the wake of Blizzard doing so bad with World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy XIV has gotten a huge uptick, but they're in a bit of a content drought until and Walker shows up. Uh, Destiny 2 is about ready to do some new content in the future, but people are already upset what's happening with that. Uh, it's being locked behind paywalls, and there's whole big issues there. And New World came out, and even though it is very crafty based and it is very pvp based it came out at a time when there was a huge gap in the market so it hit hot it hit hot with streamers and people looking to do a good mmo again that wasn't tied to the shenanigans with blizzard in the past two weeks or so though new world is getting wrecked in a lot of public perceptions first when new world launched it had a lot of login issues and queues and people couldn't get on and people would try and exploit afk timers by running against rocks then they fix that but you might get kicked off and not get your spot back and everything it, it just they had the woes of a fledgling mmo that you would see in 2005 to 2008 that they should have learned by now and i mean for god's sakes this is amazon one of the largest cloud server hosting companies on the entire planet probably the largest i do believe um you would think they would have learned better so they got new login servers and they they tried to help the queue and everything but then things continued to get bad one of the bad things that I learned about through channel called Josh Strife Hayes is that the game is client side focused or client side majority or client side trust. What essentially that means is that the game trusts the client for your data more than the actual server, more than the game itself. So what people found out was that if they ran the game in windowed mode and they were about to take damage, they were doing a large jump or they were doing PVP or they were sitting on a cap point like a flag or um, sort of like a Unreal Tournament domination point or Star Wars uh, or EA's Battlefront modes in games where you, you sit on a point and you cap them and you hold them and everything. So if you ran the game in windowed mode and clicked out of the game and then took your window and, and dragged it around like this, the server for New World said, okay, the client isn't focused anymore, so I'm not allowed to communicate to it. Therefore, it, is suspend it essentially suspended your reality in the game. So you could sit on a point in PvP click out of the game in windowed mode and then shake it kind of like this and amazon would go hello napalm dawn client are you there and my client would go nothing just radio silence so amazon would be like um okay i can't send any data to him 
therefore he's in some weird reality protecting bubble. And I could just do this and I would be invincible because I would not be reporting back to Amazon servers. That's because my data was being trusted from the client side. Now you might be wondering, all right, that sounds like a terrible bug that could be used to jump really high and then unfocus right at the end so that your fall damage is, is not calculated and PVP. Okay, so what has that got to do with me who likes Marvel Avengers Alliance? Napalm, what are you fucking with me? Well, the reason being is because it was very similar to the old hacks of Marvel Avengers Alliance when it was on the Facebook version. Essentially, when you had these old hacks... Now, I used to cover this hack on my stream back in 2015, 2016. I would never show where the hack came from or the address of videos that ran it, but obviously things are fair game now. So what this hack would do that people designed is that when you loaded the game up and it hit your browser's memory, this hack would screw with the values of your game in the browser's memory. Essentially through it like an old-fashioned peak command, you would find out where your gold is, or your silver, or your command points, and all that stuff, and this trainer would edit the memory value on your PC, and then once you applied the hack, PlayDom servers would go, oh hey, Napalm Don's client just told me he has 9,999 gold. I trust that. And then your account would be modified forever because it was client-side trust. And now, obviously, that was a problem. And you can see here, he did it. He applied the hack to, and I believe Chrome was the big browser at the time, and, and seeing that scroll bar on the right of this person's Marvel Avengers Alliance, um, that does look like Chrome back then. So, yeah, I, I mean, there you go. All you needed to do was to give yourself tremendous amounts of gold. Ha, <laughs> the Beyond Corp driver. I like that gun. That was, that was a fun gun. Um, you could just hack your gold, and then the world would be open to you. You didn't even necessarily have to cheat in PvP or anything like that. Just having that level of gold would do it for you because you could buy the things in the store and you essentially were still free to play doing pay to win mechanics. Now at the time I covered it on the stream one of the biggest things that I did was the hack that edited the uh, values of characters and that was similar to things like the old Diablo 2 editors. Now these editors were fine because they edited your offline characters in Diablo 2 the first version, not remastered. So here I, I loaded up a um, an assassin and I can modify their strength, their dexterity, how much gold I have, stash, upgrade all my gems, what act was I in, I could unlock quests and waypoints, give myself some points. I, I'm editing the character locally. Fortunately there were checks for Diablo 2 online at the time, you couldn't edit an online character this way, but you could do whatever you want locally. It's a crying shame, an absolute fucking shame, that New World, being run by Amazon, what you think would be one of the smarter code companies out there, had this kind of bug in it that you could modify things locally, including duplications and your damage, just by unfocusing the client. And then that obviously reveals everything was client-side, which is kind of ridiculous. For a server to trust what is coming in from a client is absolutely ridiculous. Now, you can do minor trust with a sanity check. And where that came in was Borderlands 2. 
Borderlands 2 had some trainers back in the day that allowed you to modify your guns. And you could essentially take a sniper and give it the actions of a rocket launcher. Or you could take an infinity pistol which never ran out of ammo but was not particularly strong and you could make it fire Norfleet rocket launcher damn uh you know rockets which essentially was like shooting the bfg from doom or the redeemer from unreal tournament and if you attach that to an infinity gun which was very very fast and never ran out of ammo i mean you could walk through the game simply by modifying your gun values well eventually borderlands 2 caught into the caught on to this and they did two levels of sanity checks. The first sanity check they did that said if the person has in their inventory or equipped any guns that just don't make sense, have crazy values like Pimpernel bullets, Pimpernel um, sniper bullets coming out of the infinity, change that to just a normal gun. Change that to the nearest normal gun and essentially it would fuck up your crazy ass Norfleet infinity pistol. However, those checks only used to run when the game launched or shut down. So what would happen is people found out that if they put their crazy guns in their stash before they logged out or before they got done with the game, it was protected because it would launch the game, it would check your inventory and person and you would be okay. You wouldn't have a crazy gun on you, so the game would not check you anymore. It would leave you alone. Sort of like the only time an airport checking you would be <coughs> walking into the terminal and then never checking you again until you landed at your destination and then were walking through the terminal at your destination. Eventually, Borderlands 2 again caught on to what was happening and they checked you at they, they even checked the stash so you couldn't have crazy guns anymore once your game got to a certain version where this is all an hysterical parallel for amazon is back in the day one of the major cheats for marvel avengers alliance and this is how people were pvp cheating is they would load up quicksilver and they would do an attack and they would see the damage values that went out and they would peek into chrome's memory where the game was resonant and they would go okay so quicksilver just did 15 points of damage ah there's 15 they would take that 15 and say 1 million and then what would happen is Quicksilver, thanks to his penchant for going first in PvP combat, except for Spitfire on the screen, Hawkeye with the ISO, Loki with the ISO, and some pieces of agent gear, they would go on PvP offensive. Their Quicksilver would most likely take the first action. They would modify Quicksilver's damage values, and they would make his AoE, like this, do hundreds of thousands of damage thereby winning the match before their plan could ever get screwed up that's essentially what was happening with new world from amazon facebook and playdom servers were trusting the client to report valid data whatever it received from me from my browser it said, I, I have to believe that because I believe in the client. So when Playdom started to fix PvP cheating, what they did is they instituted a sanity check. They said, here is valid ranges for these characters. If it's out of that range, crash the PvP match and you're not going to get credit for it and do it enough times you're probably going to get popped as a cheater and you're going to get kicked if you remember in marvel avengers alliance history 
there were some PvP seasons early on in their sanity check fixes where people had loads of combat errors and even in PvE, you would get combat errors and the game would reload because you had a scenario where you did a bunch of damage the game thought was unreasonable. You broke the sanity check, even though you didn't do anything wrong. So maybe I, as an agent, I had the War Axe and I gave Quicksilver a bunch of buffs, maybe an Emerald Prism and a Strengthened, and there was weakness over here. And I did his AoE and his values were really, really high because it was a perfect storm. I buffed him, I weakened the enemies, um, and he did a huge amount of damage. I might have crashed combat and lost credit for that combat because I just set up a perfect storm and the sanity check was too tight. You might remember that. If you ever got a sanity check failure and didn't know why you're game crashed especially in pvp likely you hit a damage value the game thought was a little shady so it booted you it's kind of funny that in a game that existed from 2012 to 2016 so nine to five years later a company as big as amazon can't get that right they can't have learned from shit in the past that you shouldn't trust the client especially in important MMOs and everything like that when you as a player can have an advantage over another player because you're hacking the game and screw up PvP screw up economy do gold dupes do gear dupes and everything like that get a great sword keep it for yourself put a copy on the auction house to have so much faith in the client that is in 2021 the end of 2021 absolutely ridiculous because eventually if they hadn't fixed it somebody would have come up with something like this that would have allowed them to modify their character in memory memory resonant editing and they would have been able to give themselves some gold maybe give themselves some levels right there, take themselves from 40 to 60. They would have been able to do crazy stuff. But fortunately, Amazon fixed part of that. However, as was pointed out, when they fixed the invulnerability by messing with your client, by doing that, by doing the window shake and you're not communicating with the Amazon servers, apparently they made things worse because now things that would go on in the background of any reasonable MMO don't hit you if you're offline. So in World of Warcraft, if I go into the auction house and I buy an item and I win it when I'm offline, the game takes my gold and it mails me the item. And when I log in, you've got mail. And there's my item from the auction house. Conversely, if I was selling something and something sold when I was offline, I would log in and find so-and-so bought your three pieces of sausage and here's your 10 gold. That is now broken in Amazon. They made such a ridiculous fix that said, if you can't contact the client after X amount of time, give up. That rule applies to things like the auction house. So if it's two o'clock in the morning on a work day and you're not playing Amazon's New World and your auction house item sells for 200 gold, that person gets the item and you never get the gold because you're offline and eventually New World stops trying to send you the gold to your mailbox because you're not there and your client is not responding. So they literally went from all or nothing on the left to all or nothing on the right. Just a binary fix, zero to one. Ridiculous fix for a ridiculous issue they never should have had and could have learned from a Facebook game that existed from 2012 to 2016. Now, obviously, 
that never happened. That part never happened in Marvel Avengers Alliance. If uh, somebody used your, um, you know, your SOS and everything like that, um, you would you would get the credit for it when you came in. If if somebody, um, you know, if you did that thing where you log in and you like send gifts to people and everything like that. It was all fine. Like, that portion never happened to Marvel Avengers Alliance. And their sanity check, while being overtuned for a little while, was pretty reasonable without going overboard. But here's another problem. To report hacks in New World, you go to their forums. And you have to describe the bug in detail, including what you did and how to replicate it and maybe even provide some proof at it. So that means if you are a ill-minded player, um, let's say, okay, let's say this axe gave you a permanent blood loss because you did something. Maybe you crouched just as you used it and it stuck blood loss to you permanently. Anybody else who has this axe could come to the forum read that oh hey if i have the great axe and i duck just as i cast bloodlust i'm now permanently bloodlusted because it's up here as a description can you believe that can you believe to report a bug to amazon you have to describe it in detail including how to replicate it so that every time somebody reads your thread they know how to do it and this is the big one right now and this is one doesn't compare to um we'll just do this this one doesn't compare to marvel avengers alliance it compares to wow wow originally had a chat system that allowed html code in its chat it was fixed very quickly when it was exploitable this picture is somebody using html code within new world to display the sausage meat in the game as a giant picture. So their chat box is a giant three pack of sausage. Because it's not plain text, it's HTML. So all you do need to do is do image code with the file name of an image in New World and it displays in chat. So sausage. Kind of looks like penis. Not only is this a problem because it floods people's text and everything like that with giant, because you could set a size command or a resolution command with this. So not only can you display game pictures within New World's chat, which World of Warcraft stopped years ago, there is now a bug that if you link with um, certain, that, that kind of HTML code that you do when you make a picture a clickable link and what displays to the user or the clicker is a picture, but then when you click it, it takes you somewhere like a button on a website. That code works in New World. So what they could do is say, let's say World of Warcraft style. Did somebody say Thunder Fury, Blade of the Windseeker and link it? The moment you mouse over what was linked by the person if they linked a file or an item that doesn't exist within Amazon's code, your game would keep looking for it and looking for it and looking for it infinity times until the game takes all of your computer's memory and crashes. Because there's no sanity check that says look for it 10 times only and then stop. It literally will look for it infinity if it could. So they could say link normal plain text sounding thing here and have the background of the link be a file that doesn't exist and it would crash your client uh, so amazon can't learn from a facebook game that started in 2012 nine years ago and it can't learn from world of warcraft that started in 2004 we're getting very very close to its 16 year anniversary around thanksgiving of this year <coughs> kind of ridiculous um truly 
sins of the father not learned by the son in this case so yeah that that's an interesting little thing you learned today that um brand new mmo from amazon not some little dipshit company amazon has problems that world of warcraft fixed well over a decade ago and played on fixed in their game half a decade ago fun times so for those who are wondering about beta 4 and its progress there is no new news on it right now um we are just waiting for goofy to be happy with what he's set up for beta 4 and it'll be out there i cannot predict when at this point as a bunch of predictions as quoted by him have come and gone so right now unfortunately i do not have uh any further updates on when beta 4 will be dropping but for now certainly download beta 2 and beta 3 and have fun with them in the meantime or go play marvel's guardians of the galaxy on the platform of your choice because unlike marvel's avengers guardians of the galaxy is doing real well for itself and um is definitely a ton of fun so i hope you enjoyed the video guys and i will see you later